Hi, I'm the founder of Novit, the first anonymous contact tracing app released in the United States which doesn't use any personal information. No GPS, no mobile number, no email. In normal life, I'm a math professor at Carnegie Mellon University and the national coach of the USA International Math Olympiad team. COVID-19 is out of hand because it spreads before any symptoms, creating uncertainty and forcing lockdowns. Novid puts you back in control by providing anonymous information to keep you and your loved ones safer. Our lead designer, Dean Dejour, will demo what you can use today. Thank you for the introduction, Poe. Now, when you first get started, there's no information that we're going to collect about you. In fact, before you even continue, you can learn more about our privacy and the kind of information we're collecting by clicking that button and going straight to our FAQ. Now, once you're done reading that, you can click the Done button on Android or just hit the Back button on iOS, and you'll get right back into onboarding. If you click Continue, we'll tell you more about how our technology works. Now, unlike other solutions that use Bluetooth or GPS, which are relatively inaccurate and generally overcount interactions, we use ultrasonic technology, which is basically just very, very high frequency sounds being sent back and forth between devices running Novid. This information lets us precisely gauge interactions between phones. Now, when we agree to the permissions, we can go see our dashboard. The dashboard is the heart of Novid. This is where information like the number of interactions you're having per day, as well as your exposures is listed, and you can change your status from testing positive to testing negative or recovering. We have zero exposures and we have zero interactions. That's about to change as you see right here. These phones just communicated and they talked ultrasonically. We couldn't hear it, but they could. Now I mentioned earlier that what makes Novid so special is that it uses ultrasonic technology to gauge interactions. And as you can see, Novid just calculated that it was 2.67 inches away from the iPhone on the right. If we can use this kind of technology, we can tell people exactly how far away they are from each other without ever saying who's who and where they are. Now on this chart, you can see that the two interactions we had between these phones moved to a darker purple, which means that it is now a prolonged interaction. This is what the CDC considers as what could be considered an exposure because these two people have interacted for more than 15 minutes within close proximity. So if the iPhone on the right were to submit a positive test report, and they just need to plug in the date of the report, we can say it was Saturday, May 30th, and then if that is submitted, eventually at some point the Android should receive an anonymous exposure report, and just as expected, the Android phone on the left receives a possible exposure alert. If we open this up in the exposure section, we can see that it was a direct contact reported on June 1st. Note, we don't know the day it was sent or who sent it. This protects the identity and anonymity of the person who sends the report, but gives the recipient enough information to stay vigilant and to begin self-quarantining. But Novid doesn't just stop there. If we think of coronavirus as a network, we can begin to see that we can assemble an anonymous link between you and the virus. With information like this, our users can protect themselves from COVID-19 from afar. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, and I'm really excited to share this with you. Now, I'll pass it off to Macy to give you a walkthrough of standby mode for iOS. Hi everyone, my name is Macy Highland and I'm the head of outreach here at Novid. Now if you use an Apple phone, you might have noticed that Novid does need to be on the screen in order to accurately be doing its job. Now this is because of a policy that Apple put in place, and we're hoping in the future that we can work with them on smoothly running in the background. But for now, we've designed something called standby mode. This is a really easy feature to use, I use it every time I leave the house, and I'm going to walk you through how to use it. Take a look at our dashboard here and you're going to see this button that says enter standby mode. If you click it, you're in standby mode. Now you're gonna see all these things that you're used to seeing on your lock screen and it's gonna be saving you battery while doing its job. Pay attention to this number here because we're gonna explain what that means next. When you wanna get out of standby mode, just press and hold that logo, purple will light up the screen and you'll be back to the app. So I just showed you this really cool feature on standby mode, and that's our distance measurement tool, and it utilizes our ultrasound frequency technology. So I'm out here on this football field, and we're gonna show you just how accurate this tool really is by measuring the distance between myself and the nearest device, AKA Poe. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger a scan here. Three feet, five, oh my gosh. It worked. That's awesome. 